So a friend of mine uh, wanted to do some little engraved uh, charms for a charm bracelet or something. So this is my first time fooling around with CNC engraving. So I've got some little uh, Chinese carbide engraving points here. You know, little half half bits. Um, parted these off on the lathe. And uh, I have the little rotary table set up if you haven't seen that video. That's a thing. And I decided to use this to hold these because uh, they're circular and should work pretty well. Let's give it a try. To keep from wasting too much brass that I actually care about, I decided I want to test this engraving on some aluminum plate. So I'm just going to clamp this onto my little pallet here. Alrighty. And I'm just going to use the paper slip method to bottom this cutter at zero. I'm going to call Z0 the top of the work piece here, top of the material rather. There it is. Spindle noise. Take on, I think I just broke that cutter because it's going way too fast. Yeah, oops. I just totally smashed that cutter. The feed rate was way too fast. Well, it doesn't feel smashed. Definitely wasn't cutting though. Maybe it. Well, it's carbide, so it probably just broke at the tip. Alright, we'll re, re zero the Z here. Yeah, broke Okay, we try again. We're gonna do a feed rate override. We're gonna do it at, uh, oh, let's slow it on down. We'll do 20% speed. We got time. Okay, well, all things considered, that is the thing I told it to make. Bird like crazy on the edges. Let's see what happens when we take a little sandpaper of that. I have some well-worn 400 grit. The piece we're cutting is going to be... Uh, i got to move that thing. I'm going to poke myself. The piece that we're going to be cutting is going to be shined uh, brass. So we won't be able to use you know heavy grit sandpaper on it without damaging other stuff. Let's see how this 400 shines up. Shining the aluminum around it nicely. It's probably, yeah, the paper's getting all cruddy galled on the aluminum. I think that's looking pretty darn good, actually, to be perfectly honest with you. This 400 good paper makes this aluminum just beautiful. I think that looks really great. We'll call that awesome. Yeah, it's a little. Let's see if we can get a closer up view. It's a little rough inside the lettering. Hang on, let me move the machine. We'll see if we can get a better view. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, without changing a lens, I really can't get a better shot at that, but suffice it to say, it looks like what it's supposed to look like. You see what happens when we put some some of this black marker in there. This is one of those, uh, let's see, you know, one of those markers uh, branded Milwaukee, but it's just a, a Sharpie, basically. It's supposed to be resistant to oil. This makes it hideous or cool. 
I don't know who HM is. I presume that stands for Her Majesty. I do believe this friend is making this for a lady friend of his. Alright. Now let's give it another top sand. Oh yeah! That looks really good. Yeah, that looks really cool. With a little bit of ink down in there, it looks great. Yeah, I like it. I'm sold. Let's do the real thing. Okay. It's totally working. I don't uh I don't see anything wrong with this one at all. Uh, yep, I'll take it out and examine it, but uh, we're ready to do the real deal. This is kind of a beta here, but should do the trick, I think. We're going to have to reset the Z, because the medallions are all a different thickness, because I just kind of roughed them out with the parting tool on the lathe. Anyway, lock that in a little bit, set our Z, and hopefully this will be the one. Here goes nothing. That's it. Set that in the maybe done pile. This is going to be the final one, I think. Test one worked okay, so I've made a few more of these discs and sanded them smooth to uh, 400 grit. Here we go. I think the final product came out pretty well. Starting with brass stock, we cut those down on the lathe, parted them off, sanded them, cleaned them up a little bit to 400 grit, and then engraved them. And here's the finished product. Thanks for watching.